Okay, today's review is of We Transfer, a Mac program which allows you to kind of use it as a media center so you can stream your uh, movies, audio, and photos to your Wii. But you can also share your bookmarks from Firefox or Safari with your Wii and back up your saved games to the, your computer. You start with a screen here for sh uh, sharing. You can first off you can click this to share, which basically turns on like a server. Here is the IP address that you'll put in on the uh, internet channel on the Wii. Here you can register for a bookmark URL, which is where you'll get to your bookmarks from Firefox or Safari on your Wii. Then you go to movies, and here you hit find movies and find a movie you want to start streaming. So let's just say this one. Then it will start preparing it for streaming. As you can see, drag movies here to prepare for streaming. Let's just leave that to get on with that for a minute. The same with mu uh, music, you can stream music as well. You can either select all songs and playlists or just select a uh, specific playlist. Pictures, you can select all events and albums or just select which albums you want to stream. You can do picture scaling, fill the screen, or proportional. Also set background music for like having a slideshow type thing. Your bookmarks, you can tick if you want to share your Safari or Firefox bookmarks or not, and which one. Save games, at the moment it says cannot read any backups to restore from the SD card. So you'd put it on the SD card and then put the SD card into the Mac if you've got a Mac with built in SD card or if not a SD card reader. Mii's you can transfer your Mii's to your Wii remote using the Mii channel on your Wii you then turn off your Wii and make sure the Bluetooth is enabled on your Mac press the 1 and 2 buttons to start the Wii sync to your Mac you can also then uh, using this program make image pictures uh, of the you know image files of your uh, Mii's which is good if you want to use your me as say an avatar on a forum here we go to preferences you can use the recommended quality for video streaming or set up a custom settings here it's on 700 by default being select 900 or whatever and frames per second 10, 12, 15 or 20 you can prepare the AAC tracks using higher quality encoding you can set your locations for where your iTunes music library XML file is or where your iPhoto album data XML file is located. Uh, you can change your sharing port here as well and show each picture for how many seconds. It will also download game titles from the internet. So let's just close this. Now, in a second, we'll go over to the Wii to show the interface that when, when you're on the Wii, how you use it there. Basically, you go to the internet channel and type in the IP address that you find here, but we'll show you that next. But right, once you're at the internet channel, you go to web address. Here you enter the IP address that found on the program mentioned earlier. Right, you're now into the Wii transfer interface. But don't forget to put in the HTTP bit, otherwise it won't work. You can start off, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, but there's a bit up here that says click here to bookmark on your Wii, so you can make a bookmark on the Wii bookmark, so you don't have to keep typing in every time. You have a straightforward interface here with movies, music, pictures, and bookmarks. Let's go to movies first. Here's the movie I converted earlier. Let's see if it plays. Okay, and it seems to play. Let's go back. 
By the way, you can also, as well as having the movies listed as a list, you can also click up here and have them arranged as a thumbnail. I also found that the bookmark bit at the top to automatically bookmark it in your Wii Internet channel's favourites doesn't seem to work, but you can always add a bookmark manually. And let's click home. Now we can go to music. Here you get playlists, artists, albums and search. I haven't done any music yet. Here you get pictures. Events and albums. And the albums you have on from iPhoto. And then bookmarks. Safari or Firefox, just pick. And then you get the bookmarks. And you select bookmark menu and here's loads of uh, bookmarks I got. And that's a basic interface on the way. Very simple and straightforward to steam your music, movies and pictures. I also found that the bookmark bit at the top to automatically bookmark it in your Wii Internet channel's favourites doesn't seem to work, but you can always add a bookmark manually. It can also save your save games to your computer as a backup and also your Mii's and use the Mii images as proper pictures. But this is probably the main point here is the fact that you can easily steam very quickly and easily your uh, movie files and music. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been a review for videotechreviews.com of Wii Transfer. Please like, comment and subscribe.